Hello, welcome to this online science assembly. Today we will be looking at the science of our solar system. The Earth is one of eight planets. Each one um, orbits the sun. Orbits? Oh, the, yes, this means to go around and on one. Um, one orbit is one year. Are all the planets the same size then? <laughs> Not at all. Let's have a look at them in order and proportional scale. Proportional scale? This means comparing their sizes. Let's imagine that the sun is the height of our school. Wow, that's a big sun. It certainly is. The sun is a burning sphere of gas. Sphere? This is around three dimensional shapes. Like, let's, like a basketball. Um, all planets are spheres. <laughs> you should never look directly at the sun as it can damage your eyes. Absolutely. Let's begin. The closest planet to the sun is Mercury. If the sun was the height of our school, Mercury would be the size of this sponge ball. But that sponge ball is tiny. Well, the sun is very big. How far is it from the sun? 60 million kilometers. Yes, 60 million kilometers. One kilometer is about the distance from our school to Asda. So it is like going to Asda about 30 million times. And that's the closest planet? Mercury looks like our moon and is covered in craters. Craters? These are holes in its surface where big rocks have hit over millions of years. Yes, let's keep going. Here's Venus. The second closest planet in our solar system is Venus. How big is it? On our scale, it's the size of this football. And how far away? Venus is 109 million kilometers from the sun. It's also the hottest planet because its atmosphere captures all of the sun's heat. Atmosphere? Earth's atmosphere is the air we breathe. Not all planets have atmospheres. Speaking of the Earth, The next planet is Earth, and it would be about the same size as this netball. Please take a look at these two photographs. Can you spot the difference? Could teachers please pause the video so that the pupils can give their suggestions? That's right, the shadows have moved. This is because the Earth, like all the other planets, spins as it orbits the Sun. One spin takes 24 hours. This is why we have day and night. Also, a compass needle always points to the North Pole on Earth. This is because the Earth is one big magnet, just like these. How far is the Sun from where we are? We are about 150 million kilometers. Let's keep going. The next planet is Mars. On our scale, it is the size of an apple. Millions of years ago, it used to have an atmosphere and may once have had life on it. Wow. It is 230 million kilometers away from the sun. Please don't eat Mars. Things are about to get bigger. The next planet is Jupiter and on our scale is the size of this greenhouse. Jupiter is the biggest planet and it is worth remembering that Mercury is the size of this sponge ball. Jupiter is 780 million kilometers from the sun. The next biggest planet is Saturn. It is the same size as this wooden shelter. It is surrounded by beautiful rings of broken ice. It is 1.4 billion kilometers from the sun. Only two planets left and we are now far, far away from the sun. Uranus is a penultimate planet. Penultimate? It means second to last. I know it's scale, it is the size of these hula hoops. Uranus is a very cool planet. It is 2.9 billion kilometers away from the sun. Our final planet is Neptune. On our scale, it is the size of these hula hoops. It is 4.5 billion kilometers from the sun. So where do all our planets get their names from? Apart from Earth, all of the planets get their names from Greek and Roman gods and goddesses. So that is all our planets. What about the moon, which on our scale is the size of this sponge ball? Isn't that a planet? No, that is because it orbits the Earth, not the Sun. Therefore, it is not a planet. Apart from Mercury and Venus, all planets have moons. Okay, quiz time. Can teachers please pause the video between each question and ask any child with their hand up. What shape is the Sun and all the planets? That's right, Sophia. What are the holes all over Mercury called? 
They are called creatures. Venus is the second planet, but how many planets are there? There are eight planets. How many hours does it take the Earth to spin all around the Sun? It takes 24 hours. Which is the biggest planet? That's right, Jupiter. What are Saturn's rings made, are made from? They are made from broken ice. What is the name of the penultimate planet? Uranus is a penultimate planet. Who are all the um, who are all the planets named after? They are named after Greek and Roman gods and goddesses. Why is the moon not counted as a planet? Because it doesn't orbit the sun, it orbits the earth. We hope we inspired you to investigate more about our solar system. Thank you for watching and stay curious.